All right, I'm gonna show you a uh, new addition here that we just picked up and we're gonna talk a little bit about tools. This right here is our, uh, our newest acquisition. This is an International Harvester Model 10 seed drill. And it's actually in pretty darn good shape for the age. It's, uh, I don't know, it's probably a 40s or 1950s era. And real simple design. But you can see the paint is still in the hoppers and it's, it's got a little surface rust on the outside, but nothing, nothing too major. Now what you would do with one of these is when you're planting a field, you'd come along and this is what they call a conventional drill. So you have to come along and till the ground up first. You can either use a tiller, which you wouldn't on something this big, but plow it, disc it, do whatever, get the ground nice and broken up and then as you're traveling along these discs here rotate these are your openers these cut the dirt open basically and your seed this machine has two hoppers it's got a grain box here and a grass box here these boxes are ground driven off the wheel you can see there's the wheel got a little chain the chain drives these chain and sprocket assemblies here that turn the augers that you can kind of sort of see in those holes in the seed boxes and depending on what you're planting this front box is for grass this big box here is for grain your grain would come right through here drop into this little feeder come down through that tube and fall in in there if you're planting grass seed it comes down these little black uh little black tubes and drops out right behind the openers and then these chains knock the dirt back in over the seed now a lot of these what you would do is behind this you'd actually put a put a hitch on the back of this which is what we're going to do and pull either a roller or a culta packer behind it which uh i'm actually going to look at one of those this afternoon i've got a roller up there it's that big propane tank looking thing, but the cult pack would be better but what i want to show you on this one even though it is in decent shape i had to replace a couple of seed tubes you can see there uh, these old tubes were rubber and they just rotted the ones that what i replaced it with i had some 5 8 dot nylon uh, air brake hose and i like it really well because it's really slick and smooth on the inside and there won't be any problem with the seed going through it uh, the only thing that concerns me a little is comparing the rubber to the nylon the rubber is a little bit more flexible so i don't know how well that nylon is going to flex but we'll see but it does need a little work like uh like here needs a tire because I don't, I don't know if you can see in the sun or not, but I'm actually pushing my, my whole hand inside the tire there. So that's, uh, that's garbage. And what we're going to do is I want to show you this Milwaukee 2763 fuel impact gun. This is battery powered impact. And a lot of people say, oh, well, will it take lug nuts off? Will it do this? Will it do that? Uh, my answer is yes. I've used this thing on a lot more challenging lug nuts than these but these is what we have now so these are what we're going to use you can see uh let's get where you can see i have two bars of battery there so it's about half charged and it just spins them right out like there's nothing to it there you go no air compressor, no fighting with a breaker bar. Just simple and easy and a whole lot more convenient. And that really wasn't any kind of a challenge for it, which, you know, it didn't, didn't show it off too much, but I'm sure we'll have something else this year that's a little tougher that's going to end up needing, needing a wheel to come off of her. But that's that. I wanted to show you that, try to answer that question. But the next thing I want to talk about is grease and grease application. Now on a machine like this, it is just loaded up with grease fittings. I mean, you've got a fitting here, 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 here. Oh, where else? I mean, they're, they're everywhere on this thing. 
absolutely everywhere. And if you want to have this work for very long, you better grease it. Now this, this here, is a traditional grease gun that we're all familiar with. And this is the Milwaukee M18 cordless grease gun. So let me set you up right, uh, let's see if I can set you up right here and aim you down here at these discs. And we're gonna start with the good old mechanical grease gun that everybody is kind of familiar with. If you're not, and you're doing any kind of farming or equipment stuff, you really should be. So clamp it right on the Zerk there, make sure the camera's aimed where you can see it. And two, three, four, one, four. It's airlocked, so first we gotta purge all the air out. windy out here today but you can see it's a pain in the butt you know I pumped it it's still full of air and I just really don't want to fight with it today we all know how those things work but this is for the guys that say oh I don't do that much grease and I really don't need a powered grease gun yada 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 done Next one. Done. Next one. And even though I knocked that little uh, little rubber tube off, you can see, man, some of these tubes are gonna need to be replaced too. Oh well, no big deal. But you can see just how much faster and how much more convenient the uh, much nicer the powered grease gun is. So I'm going to set you up over here and let you watch while I grease this thing and pull that other wheel off. Because like that, you can see just how quick this is to do with this powered grease gun. And that that's a four-foot grease hose there. And it makes life a lot easier when you've got to reach into places like this and down here and in there and everywhere else where you're not trying to cram a, you know, a full-sized manual grease gun down in there with a little, you know, like 15-inch hose on it or something. So the Milwaukee makes this a lot easier. If you're interested in it, I'll put a link down in the description below where you can go check it out on Amazon. Uh, if you're considering it, if you would buy through that link, cost you the same amount of money, but it does help support the channel a little bit. But uh, yeah, there's our drill. And this one is actually in decent shape. So two new tires and it's ready to go to the field. I wish I could say the same for most of the rest of our stuff, but not quite yet. But we'll get there, and you'll get to see all of it, so make sure you subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.